You're probably right about that. I wouldn't know. I just kind of like mess around with the. I don't hate Minot, up. especially after watching Infiltration do work. I personally don't hate. I don't have any hatred towards Minot, but watching her lame somebody out, you're like. That made me happy on the inside. I mean, I know. You're a Dolphin player. Yeah, exactly. So what, do you, what do you expect? I expect White Beast to get out of this corner. You would if think you can. it would make me happy because you know how enthused I know I'm you'd love that neutral. Sorry, I was about to go to sleep. Uh, the Tim Duncan of the FTC is definitely L Train. Oh, you low key get the hate, Paulusina. I, I mean, in a in a in a day and age where we're mostly offensive oriented, <laughs> with the <laughs> medium we, kick. That's so a we got that's a dance out. right there. Oh, getting a jump jump in on Alucard. You you better mark that on the calendar because those do not happen often. Antoine yeah, recognizing that that plus when he's hit by the cross up Blanca ball. I mean that you're gonna get hit by that. Every time I, I, I don't. Oh, I I'm surprised he was out of range. Stomp the yard. Do it again. Stomp the. Oh my god. Here it comes. I can't get there in time. I can't do both. Yeah. Oh, we. He didn't uh, do it. Bugger. GG. Sorry. Missed the, missed the correct seed. Uh. Do you want to sit down? I mean, he's. you can kick him off. You are his team captain. <laughs> get body. All right, Let's we're going to get Kelsey on the mic to help me out. Oh, careful. There we go. Oh, White Beast puts himself in the corner. How's it going, Kelsey? Doing good. Oh, you sounded good, too. I, I, I've been watching enough of the stream where I kind of have heard the tips, and I've got it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've absorbed your commentary by osmosis. So which, um, what are we using, what are you using for your tag now and your Twitter handle? Um, it's always my tag, Shadow of Fate. Uh, Twitter is just best to put SR Nation. Sweet. Got that set. And unfortunately, White Beast just took a super to the belly. I mean, you know, I figured that the costume has to have enough cushioning in it that it didn't hurt that bad. I wonder where, like, how does the electricity get through the costume? <laughs> that is the thing that I don't understand just yet. I mean, we have to assume it's that strong. Maybe the thing is that if he wasn't in the costume, it would be worse. Oh, it's like uh, Wonder Woman's bracelets. <laughs> they right. contain the strength. He's, he's too much of a beast. <laughs> And uh, shout out to some of these names I've been seeing in the chat. Uh, Palushina, what's up, baby? How you doing? Uh, I've seen Piano in there. You know, so it's good to see some of these faces. I appreciate that y'all uh, support MFGC. And we need to make sure, for those of you that are watching, to check them out at Outer Haven. That is where they play. Good to show up in their stream, too, uh, because they've got some really strong players, including Palushina, uh, one of my favorite players at the moment in the Midwest, True God. Actually, it was, uh, in this last the last go round, I really wanted to take a group of SRM out oh, to please. Outer Haven. Um, just couldn't pull the plans together in time. And a little bit of an upset right now because I don't think Twan expected to have this much trouble or to genuinely lose a game in losers finals against White Beast. Well, I, we're, we're still really in that phase where not you know no one knows what to do against Blanca. You know, like people are getting surprised by the stuff that's plus. They don't know what's fuzzy like. Those cross-up balls are difficult to deal with. Yeah. On, on top of just the fact that, you know, you're getting used to it, they hit really ambiguously. <laughs> and, and when Blanca looks at you, you can't tell if he's looking <laughs> at you or away from you. Kind of like the lazy eye thing. <laughs> yeah, the way that his eyes look, he's always looking. And hey, you're talking about a character that they blessed with some of the best anti-air options in the game. That's damage. I thought Twan was going to spend that. Oh, so we go, we're looking for slide and trigger. Yep. Mids up. Nope. Ooh. What did he grab him out of? That sounded like an ES. That might have been a DP. It couldn't have been ES because he still got the bar. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we'll have to check the sound on Halitosis. See what that sounds like. Because he might have been spitting that out. And y'all just gonna bully old Rob TV out there, man. He's such a good character. Rob, Rob's a fun character. Oh, <laughs> oh god. And Alucard really needed this round to turn the momentum. You know, Woof. sometimes Twan is that uh, 
he's an ego driven character and there is nothing that fuels him more than like him himself feel like he's being downplayed. Oh yeah. <laughs> and and that happens especially when he's losing to matchups he doesn't feel he should. And then you kinda see Twan come out. <laughs> It's rounds like that where you know why he's one of the best in the nation, you know, just. He is the embodiment of I will not lose. <laughs> exactly. Like, he, you know, he's a protagonist in his own anime. We just haven't seen the title yet. <laughs> he's definitely Vegeta. He's a bad man. <laughs> wow. And that's a big crush and nice confirm. All right. It's shenanigans time. Let's see what we got. Oh. Lean in. Nice chunk, little corner carry. Ooh. Oh, does the Michigan cross up with the ball? Oh, he didn't commit to it. He wasn't expecting to hit. Um, this and now, is still one mix up and three the players away. Yes, one more. Oh, ran out of bar. There we are. Still looking about even. No, there's a, a medium punch difference in between life. Next hit from Nikali can kill. Wifey oh. sees two. Here it is. Now it's next hit to kill. Now we're in footsie range. Ooh, Ooh. that was a bold slide. Picante what? bold. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my. That was, that was it. You got to be patient. We are just throwing hands in the, in the neutral right now. Nine seconds to go. I'm going to say at this point with the clock. Ooh. Oh. He tried, he tried to, you can say he tried to bait it. What? <laughs> a crazy little scramble at the end. <laughs> wow. So smart thinking, I think Alex, like, you know, he's, so he kind of cringed a little bit because he misjudged the distance on the rainbow ball. <laughs> and Alucard had the reactions for the DP, but it wasn't deep enough. And that puts White Beast on set point. And you know what, and I, one of the things I love and respect about Tuan is that, you know, he didn't take any time to think about a character change. He just got right back in there. You know, he sits to his guns as part of, you know, part of that strong ego. And, you know, I, he has I do what I want attitude. And this looks like it's going to be a perfect. That's two perfects, but Alucard has yet to win a game. Damn. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, don't, don't underestimate my boy Alex. I don't. I, I play <laughs> against that man. I know exactly what kind of metal he has. Start up, he started from the bottom as a lowly Kami player in Street Fighter 4 with no friends. Oh, he doesn't get R. Kelly twice. Wow. I think Tuan tried to react to that one. Nice punish. Good reaction to the dash. Yep. Good block on the overhead. White Beast playing a little more defensively, but still aware. Nice. All right. Ooh. I think he was trying to get another bait out of it see if he could get the fish. Nice. That's also risky. I could imagine that slide. Oh, that's a big switch. This was Alucard's round, and now it's looking like White Beast's round. Now I'm going to be looking for cross the ball. Whoops. Oh, that's definitely what he grabbed him out of last Ooh. time. Oh, <gasps> you're dead. Oh, no. He missed the punish. He didn't follow up either. I'm really surprised. I think he just wanted to save that last. Uh, he triggered the ball. Oh, you're dead. Oh. White Beast leaning back. Nearly stole that out of Twan's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I was seeing it, like I said, it's all part of the mind game. You know, you got sometimes you just got to take your opponent out of that moment. You know, give yourself a chance to breathe and, you know, disrupt them a little process. You got to deal with it. Oh, crush. So Alucard with a really strong round start. I haven't already pushed Alice to the corner. Like really just, you know, being the offensive powerhouse that Nikali is. Ooh, but nice. Oh, no. Big drop from that. Oops. That would have evened things back up for him. And Alucard learning what he can punish on the fly. Yep. That is that top player class uh, adaptability. What? I mean, I was going to say, right here, re trigger mid sometime. Why <laughs> opting like, not even go for the trouble? Is that? Ooh. Wow. That did a lot. From the top rope. I really didn't expect that to kill. 
I don't think Alex did either. So this puts Alex on game point now. And this is winner final? This is losers finals. Oh, right, right. The winner of this will get to fight Chakotay in grand finals. Good DP. Oh. Tried to walk under. Good idea, but didn't quite happen. If you know, as you know, that these matches have been going on. Uh, Twan's been leaning on the dive kit just a little bit more. You're know, like starting to realize, you know, where and how Alex will react to his jump going into the air. Final round. And that dive kick to me feels like it got a buff in, buff in the season. A little harder to react to and to slide under. Twine at this point going to be kind of hungry for blood, looking to try to close it out, even things back up. Good air to air. That's a ooh, fine answer. Get dunked, though. Keep it back up. Alucard controlling the corner. Oh, that's going to be bad. Oh, you. I didn't know that he, on whiff he drops back. I'm trying to drop that stun bar. So I've got to take it to poise, but once again, it's all going to come down to, you know, V-Trigger time for both characters. Great life also adds up quite a bit. Alex's yep. defense is locked tight right now. Oh. oh. And here we go into final game. Strong, strong from Alucard. Absolutely. White Beast just needs to stay stay calm. He's he's kept his defense tight, which is hard when you're you're losing your lead. Mm-hmm. Well, I feel like, you know, Alex is in this really weird middle ground right now trying to learn Blanca because, you know, he's been always been such a kind of really defensive, you know, more turtle-style player. And now he's trying to open up and be a little more aggressive playing, you know, Blanca. And so I think, you know, they're still trying to find that balance. <laughs> Good punish on that. Ooh. I see Alex kind of reeled a little bit. <laughs> Trying to get that spacing to get a jump out. Uh, as far as I know, Alucar eliminated Smug in his pool. Oh, it did. Um, and I'm not quite sure about after that. But now he's on set point to knock White Beast out of losers and into the spectators. Yep, he doesn't know that is very safe. <laughs> Yep, here we go. Wipey's going to have to go back to that air-to-air -to, -air to avoid those dive kicks. Yep. Still, is that back medium punch or just medium punch? That's just medium. Well, crouching me rest. Walks under that time successfully. But uh, Tuan's already up there. He's already got the V-Trigger lined up. Wipey says a huge life lead. <laughs> Which we all know can melt in a second under the galaxy. So you just need to, you know, take it easy. Not take any unnecessary risk too much. Good attempt at anti-air. That was a roundhouse that got stuffed. Eat this pressure. Like already, just the little nicks and everything has already brought it back. So we're looking for slide, e trigger. I think Twan also realized. Oh, that's not. That's late. too late. It's, it's late. too late. You're dead. <laughs> and so Alucard going to grand finals against Chicote. Oh, that was just too late on that confirm. That's tough. Yep.